Hi, my name is Zoe Gilbert, and this is my second book critique video. I am so excited to share these books with you. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for our feature text this time, we have Hey Water by Antoinette Portis. And she did both the writing and the illustrations for this book, which are wonderful. Um, so this book, as you might have guessed, is all about water. Specifically, it's about how water can be found all around us in different forms. First up, we have a language arts activity. So using Hey Water as a mentor text, the goal is for students to create their own informational picture books based on the topic of their choosing. So let's go ahead and look at the, this picture book that I created using the website Storybird. This website was so easy to use um, and I had so much fun with it. All right, so this is my book called Hey Light. You can see I was able to use illustrations very easily to show the moon, the sun, rainbow, spotlight, summertime, trees. And this is just imitating the structure of Hey Water and at the end, bringing it all together in conclusion saying good night light. All right, so that is it for my book. And uh, like I said, this website was super easy to use. So I'm sure with just a little bit of help, first graders would have no problem and they would have so much fun. Afterwards, uh, they could share their books with the rest of the school community. All right, so here we have our science activity. And this is building off the idea that water on earth is present in many different forms, so solid, liquid, etc. The goal of this activity is for students to predict whether it will rain or snow based on the temperature. So if water freezes at 32 degrees, it makes sense that below that it would be snow and above that it would be rain. Um, how you would do this is students would create a chart based um, on the weather patterns over the past week or month um, and then they would make predictions based on that chart. And once again, they can share this chart with their classroom or the rest of the school community. All right, so on to the rest of our books. Here we have Rain Rain, and this is a wonderful book. It is about a girl with autism named Rose and her dog named Rain. Now, one thing you should know about Rose is that she loves homonyms. Now, homonyms, if you didn't know, those are words that are spelled differently but sound the same, like rain and rain. Um, this book is very exciting and gripping. It involves Rose's dog being lost in a hurricane, her finding her again. Um, I would highly recommend it. All right, so this book is Locomotion by Jacqueline Woodson. This book is what you would call a novel in verse. It uses um, quite a few different types of poetry. It uses free verse, it even has sonnets, but it's written from the point of view of um, Lonnie Motion, and he is a child in the foster care system. It involves themes of family, um, the future, hope, um, and also multicultural issues. All right, once again, by the same author, Jacqueline Woodson, I highly recommend her work, but we have here the book Feathers. Now this is a Newbery Honor book and it is highly deserved. It involves um, this town that is separated by a highway. On one side, African-Americans live predominantly and on the other side, white um, citizens live predominantly. So it involves um, lots of issues about um, race and equality. Now we have Henry's Freedom Box and this is a biography um, about the slave who is separated from his family and actually mails himself to freedom. It is a Caldecott honor book. This book, The Book with No Pictures, oh my goodness, if you have not read this book before, go ahead and read it right now. Um, as you can tell from the title, it has no pictures, but it is so engaging for students. The Day the Crayons Quit. This is a hilarious book. It um, 
walks through each of this boy's crayons and each of the crayons are explaining to him with letters and illustrations why um, they don't feel like working anymore. So this is a very fun book for students. All right, finally, um, I had to get this book. It's called The, Zo the Hair of Zoe. Fleefenbacher Goes to School. You can guess from the name why I chose that book. But it is very fun. It deals with themes of um, accepting yourself and um, embracing your natural talents and not trying to hide who you are. So uh, those are all, yep, those are all the books I have on my list. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!